How's it going, my friends? Uh, we are on the way to the beach right now. I want to show you a benchmarking uh, test uh, or speed test, whatever you want to call it, uh, between uh, the uh, most powerful phones that your money can buy right now. We're going to be looking at the uh, HTC 10, the uh, Moto Z Force, Moto Z, uh, the uh, LG G5, and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I think you guys will be really, really impressed with the uh, benchmarking results. Uh, processor, RAM, all of these phones are the fastest that your money can buy right now. So let's go ahead and see which one scores the highest. All right, my friends, uh, we're going to start closing all the applications, uh, making sure that all of these phones are in the uh, uh, high performance mode. Uh, yesterday, I did the same test and we uploaded the video in Spanish. And unfortunately, uh, it looks like I forgot to turn off power saving mode on the uh, S7 Edge. So the results were not fair. So as you guys can see, we are closing uh, all the applications, uh, making sure that uh, all the phones are in the uh, high performance mode. As you can see, we close everything. We're gonna start uh, the Anturu benchmarking test. Now remember, this is just benchmarks. And it's gonna make sure the speed of the uh, performance, the RAM and all that. Most likely in the everyday usage, you're not really gonna notice uh, the difference, but all of the phones are super, super powerful. Really good phones. Congratulations if you own any of these phones. And as you can see right there, those are the scores that we got yesterday. But like I said, the uh, S7 Edge was in power saving mode. So we're gonna start with it. this, my friends. Uh, good luck to all of the phones. Uh, here we go. guys uh, here are the uh, results and uh, as I expected uh, the uh, Motorola scored uh, the highest uh, the Moto Z Force got the highest score as you can see and uh, next uh, was the uh, Motorola Moto Z got the uh, second highest score I'm not sure why the uh, Moto Force uh, scores uh, higher because they are supposed to have the same processor, same RAM, everything. Uh, the third place goes for the uh, LG, LG G5. The uh, fourth uh, place goes for the uh, HTC 10. And the last place, believe it or not, goes for the uh, S7 Edge. Uh, I did a, I saw a test of some, that somebody did on uh, YouTube with the uh, Note 7. And the Note 7 scores about the same score than the uh, S7 Edge. So it's not going to be faster than the uh, Motorola's. But like I said, guys, uh, this is more like me me measuring the benchmarking, uh, the uh, per performance of the uh, processors and RAM. You know, everyday usage, you're not really going to notice uh, the difference. Uh, but in terms of the numbers, I think this test uh, proves that the uh, Motorola phones are probably the fastest phones available right now. All right, amigos, uh, there you have it. Uh, amazing results from all of these phones. Uh, you know, everyday usage, you're not really gonna be able to tell the difference between one or the other. 
these all of these phones are super powerful but when it comes to benchmarking when it comes to numbers when it comes to performance processor and ram memory for sure for sure the motorola phones are the fastest phones available right now i actually saw a benchmarking test uh with the note 7 using the Anturu benchmarking uh, software and it scores about the same than the S7 Edge. So most likely the, the Note 7 is not gonna score as high as the Motorola. So that shows that the Motorola phones are probably the fastest phones available right now. Uh, give me your thoughts or your comments. Congratulations to you if you have any of these phones and I will see you guys on the next one. Over and out.